Hello in YouTube land. Good morning to you. It is August the 3rd. It is not too early in the morning, but I just got done with my shopping and I picked some things up and um, this video is going to document the kinds of uh, somewhat N-scale and N-scale vehicles that I have and where I got them and if they're still available or not. And uh, also I got some other goodies. Uh, I got uh, some LED light bulbs for the train room. They're 40 waters. Um, they're energetic daylight. I got them in right now. And I think they make the, they make everything in here pop. Pretty nice. I mean, you can certainly tell the difference between before and after. Also, I picked up a self-healing cutting mat because I needed one. I know you're like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's get on to the meat and potatoes of the reason why I'm making this video. All right, so Micro Machines have been reintroduced into the uh, world and I was lucky enough to purchased some when I got them or when I saw them um, so I picked up these micro machine buses um, they're 33 n scale feet long which isn't bad and they look pretty nice and you don't have to paint them and you don't have to put them together I mean who could ask for more right they come in a three pack, uh, the bus, one bus, one cherry picker. Here we go. And the cherry picker part works somewhat. It's a little, you probably glue that to make it stay. Um, and then they came with a uh, pickup truck, Micro City Electronic Company, Electric Company. Uh, this pickup truck is a little bit big. I will not be using it. I'll be uh, giving these away. Um, and then there was another series of vehicles uh, put out by Tonka Toys. And I picked up some of those. This also is a cherry picker. And this cherry picker arm works a little bit better. It's a lot more articulated and it swivels. As you can see, it says Tonka on the side. It's a little, it's a little big, but it'll work. Um, and I have three of those. And then uh, there was another uh, toy series put out called Driven. And these are actually really nice. They have rubber tires. Um, they have moving parts also. Um, this is a heavy duty uh, tow truck wrecker. Um, I have four of those. Now these are, uh, these are, these and the Tonkas are blind buys. You buy them in a uh, small container, kind of like this uh, Hot Wheels Miniatures uh, Monster Truck deal. And inside that box, not only do you get a vehicle, uh, well, with the Driven, you get a sign and um, a little piece of road. With the Tonka, I think you just get the vehicle. I don't recall if you get the sign or not. But uh, and then this is my uh, emergency vehicles here. These are micro machines here and here. Uh, this is the driven, which is really nice. Um, the little ladder works and it spins. Once again, it, it's it's not bad. Here is a true N scale uh, car, as opposed to the driven. Uh, fire truck and then the micro machines 
as a lot bigger. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using the Micro Machines one or not, um, but definitely will be using the driven one because the scale is just right for end scale. And then uh, a driven ambulance, it's a little, it's a lot big. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot big. Uh, but you know, it's all about perspective. You can move them around. And then a uh, Tonka ambulance. It's not bad actually, uh, size-wise. The windows are a little unproportioned, but it's all good. And uh, that Ford Taurus, uh, I, I, I don't recall, but that's those are actual um, model cars from a train uh, manufacturer, as are uh, these uh, European vehicles here, which I bought in a two-pack. And then these are driven uh, sports cars. And as you can see, the size is very comparable to the actual end scale sized uh, vehicles. And then I have two semi trucks here. One is the Micro Machines here, and this one here is a Kato. The uh, container is removable. It also has uh, either a magnet or a piece of metal in the bottom of it. But yeah, I really like that. Um, and then uh, I, this is a, a Micro Machines. And this is, uh, I don't recall, um, a, a Jada Toys die-cast uh, Fast and the Furious um, car. They still sell these. Um, it's a little big, but once again, perspective. If you put it up against the uh, Micro Machines, it's not too bad. And then I've got some uh, fuel trucks here. All Tonka, of course. They're not bad size. The, once again, the windows are unproportioned. And then I have uh, four garbage trucks here. Two are Tonka. One is driven. This driven one is really nice. The uh, back end opens up and the whole back end lifts up to dump, which is really nice. Um, and of course, it's a different kind than the Tonka. And the Tonka is a dumpster lifter. So I have like a bulk carrier and a dumpster, two dumpster ones and the arm, the dumpster arms do raise up. Uh, and then I have another littler rear loader. It's a pullback toy um, and it's a uh, nano speed. I don't believe they make those anymore. Um, yeah, it's a little unproportioned, but it'll work in the grand scheme of things. And then, um, so then I have this Tonka li uh, loader, lifter, forklift. Um, it's kind of big, but no proportion. But once again, perspective. And then uh, these are driven. These are the driven toy line. Um, it doesn't, it lifts, but it doesn't uh, lift forward. But that's okay. Um, it's all good. And then I have two street cleaners from the driven line. which work very well. And then uh, I have a motorcycle from Micro Machines. Then I have some sanitation vehicles, the little ladder to climb up and uh, the lid opens up. So like you could possibly put somebody up there working maybe or have it close by with people working. Um, and then I have a, uh, this is another nano speed. It's a little uh, faux. Uh, food truck and then I have a little police parking enforcement uh, nano vehicle here it's very unproportionate but it's all good once again we can get it going and then a nice little police car here from nano speed uh, various construction vehicles from uh, Tonka and driven I uh, got a nice older style dump truck, uh, a bulldozer, a grader, uh, two um, cranes, a cement truck, a 
the cement truck is really nice. The cement uh, mixer actually turns. I've got a uh, like a panel truck with uh, a load in it, and when you lift up the the rear end opens up, and when you lift it up, the load comes out. So that's pretty neat. And then I've got another uh, box box truck, and I think the doors open. I'm not for sure on that. Yeah, the door does open on the back of that, and it does lift up also. Um, so yeah, yeah, and this is this is uh, driven on it. Like I said, these little drivens are really nice. Uh, I like them. They're they're really neat. Uh, and then today, I was. Uh, like I said, I was out shopping and uh, I, I was like, saw one of these little suckers uh, outside of the box. Somebody w attempted to probably steal it and the parents said, nope, smack the hand and put it down somewhere. But uh, I bought three of these and I, I think I'm going to do, uh, try and do a monster truck scene somewhere on my layout. Probably... Um, over here in this big empty area that I have, I'm going to put in a farm scene and maybe have a tractor pull track. But yeah, I've got some, some pretty neat looking uh, monster trucks here. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging that. And then uh, speaking of farm scenes, I have a fleet of different kinds of tractors. The uh, blue and the green ones are the driven and the red ones are the uh, Tonka. And they say Tonka on the top. Um, once again, they're a little out of proportion for end scale, but they'll work. So, well, that's it. That's all I have for today. Um, I don't want to go too much longer. Um, Y'all have a good day, and I'll speak with you later. Bye.